Let us in a very special way 
Pray for the departed soul of KV Theresiamma, who died last week. Let's also pray for the family members that they may experience God's protection and may experience the loving touch of Jesus with the help of the Holy Spirit so that they may be able to lead a holy and worthy life and they may receive consolation and peace. Let's also present before the Lord all the intentions of the parishioners of St. Joseph Church, Greater Noida. Let us all receive the strength from the Holy Spirit so that we may be able to lead a worthy life here on earth and may carry out the message that Jesus has given to each one of us. Accepting our failures and shortcomings, let us all say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Aboji, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now they were dwelling in Jerusalem youth, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the multitude came together and they were bewildered because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jewish and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, 
Second reading, a reading from the fourth letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. By one spirit, we were all baptized. No one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are varieties of service but the same Lord. And there are varieties of working, but it is the same God who inspires them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit of the common good. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body. So it is with Christ. For by what spirit we were all baptized into one body. Jewish and Greeks, slaves or free. And all were made to drink of one spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Acclamation. Uh, alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. Prabhu Aklulu Ge Sadhu Sandhi Yohan Ge Nuzhar Pavitra So Samachar Usi Din Arthas Saptat Ke Pradam Din Sandhya Samir Jab Shishya Yehudiyo Ge Baya Se Dwar Band Kiye Ekatr Dhe Yesu Unke Beech Aakar Khade Ho Ge Unho Ne Shishyo Se Kaha तुम्हें शाम भी मिले और इसके बाद उन्हें अपने हाथ और अपने बगल दिखाई प्रभु को देखकर शिष्य आनंदित हो उठे यीशु ने उनसे फिर कहा तुम्हें शाम भी मिले पिता ने जैसे मुझे भेजा है मैं वैसे ही तुम्हें भी भेजता हूं यह कहने के बाद यीशु ने उन पर फूक कर कहा पवित्र आत्मा को ग्रहण करो तुम जिन लोगों के पाप क्षमा करोगे वे अपने पापों से मुक्त हो जाएंगे और जिन लोगों के पाप नहीं क्षमा करोगे वे अपने पापों से बंधे रहेंगे यह प्रभु का दिव्य सुसमाचार है सुसमाचार के शब्द हमारे पापों को मिठा दे कृष्ण में प्यारे भाई और बहनों आज माता कलेजिया पंदपस्ता का पर्व मना रहे हैं पास्ता पर्व के पचासवा दिन यहूदी लोग पंदपस्ता पर्व के रूप में मनाते थे जैसे ही हम कृष्ण विश्वासी भी पंदपस्ता के पर्व को बड़ी धूमधाम से मनाते हैं क्योंकि पुनर्जीवित प्रभु यीशु ने शिष्यों को वादा किया था कि वे पवित्र आत्मा को पेश कर उन्हें शक्ति प्रदान करेंगे आज पंदा के दिन हम सभी जानते हैं जब शिष्य कमरे में एकत्र होकर प्रार्थना कर रहे थे तब पवित्र आत्मा 
आग के रूप में उनके ऊपर उतर आए आग के रूप में अग्नि के रूप में उनके ऊपर उतर आकर प्रेरित उनको शिष्यों को शक्ति प्रदान किया उसने उन्हें पूरे वरदान के रूप में पूर्ण किया और उन्हें पुनर्जीवित प्रभु यीशु की शक्ति उन्हें प्रदान किया जैसे पवित्र आत्मा को ग्रहण किया तभी से शिष्य विभिन्न भाषाएं बोलने लगे वे वहां पर गलिलिया में और यरूसले में खड़े लोगों के बीच में जाकर विभिन्न भाषाओं में प्रभु के वचन को सुनाने लगे वे सभी गैली थे गली के निवासी थे सभी शिष्य लेकिन लोगों ने जब उनके प्रवचन सुना तो उन्हें अचंभे में डाल दिया क्योंकि लोग जानते थे कि प्रभु के शिष्य गलीलिया के हैं गलीली या भाषा बोलते हैं लेकिन जब पवित्र आत्मा उनके ऊपर आए तो वे अलग अलग भाषाएं लोगों की भाषाओं में बातें करने लगे प्रभु के सुसमाचार को उनके बीच में प्रचार किया मनुष्य जाति के प्रारंभ से ही हमें मालूम है कि उत्पत्ति ग्रंथ में हम पढ़ते हैं कि लोग बाबुल के मीनार बनाना चाहते थे बड़े मीनार बनाकर वे अपनी लोग अपनी शक्ति प्रदर्शित करना चाहते थे लेकिन ईश्वर ने उनकी शक्ति को इधर विधर कर दिया अलग अलग भाषाएं उनके अंदर डाल दिया और अलग अलग भाषाओं के कारण लोग अलग अलग हो गए वे उनके कार्य को पूरा नहीं करने दिया क्योंकि प्रभु ईश्वर लोगों के बीच में एकता के बदले उस समय लोगों के बीच में अलग अलग फूट पैदा किया भाषाओं के माध्यम से ताकि लोग ईश्वर के रास्ते पर चले और ईश्वर को अपनाए लोग अपना शक्ति प्रदर्शित करने के बदले ईश्वर की शक्ति को समझ जाए लेकिन आज पुस्ता के दिन हम जानते हैं कि ईश्वर लोगों के बीच में एकता लाते हैं अलग अलग लोगों को एक ही भाषा में एकत्रित किया है ईश्वरी भाषा में जो शिष्य अलग अलग भाषाएं बोलने लगे लेकिन लोग एकत्रित हुए प्रभु के विश्वास में प्रभु यीशु क्रिस्त के विश्वास में एकत्रित हुए आज भी हम जानते हैं कि दुनिया के हर देश में ईश्वर पर विश्वास करने वाला लोग है प्रभु यीशु पर विश्वास करते हैं और हम सब कलेसिया में एकत्रित होते हैं ईश्वर से प्रभु यीशु से प्रार्थनाएं करते हैं एक ही भाषा ईश्वरी भाषा में हम सभी एक दूसरे को जानते हैं हाँ कृष्ण में प्यारे भाई और बहनों आज के पर्व हमें याद दिलाते हैं कि पवित्र आत्मा हम सभी को एकत्रित करते हैं हमारे अंदर उलझने नहीं बल्कि एकता लाना चाहते हैं और पवित्र आत्मा हम सभी को एकत्रित करते हैं कंद पुस्ताक के पर्व के अवसर पर प्रभु यीशु हमें याद दिलाते हैं कि पवित्र आत्मा शुरू से जो उत्पत्ति के समय से आज तक हमारे बीच में है लेकिन कंद पुस्ताक के पर्व के दिन वह पूर्ण शक्ति के साथ प्रेरितों पर उतर आए उन्हें शक्ति प्रदान किया और उन्हें ईश्वरीय कार्य करने के लिए तत्पर बनाया है यह कहना ठीक नहीं होगा कि पवित्र आत्मा यीशु के स्वरूप स्वर्गारोहण के बाद ही प्रेरितों पर उतर आया धर्म ग्रंथ में हम पढ़ते हैं कि पवित्र आत्मा अलग अलग समय पर लोगों को लोगों के बीच में आए और उन्हें साक्षी दिया और पवित्र आत्मा संसार के सृष्टि के दौरान उत्पत्ति के समय लोगों के बीच में और इस दुनिया में उपस्थित है लेकिन आज के सो समाचार में हम सुनते हैं कि पूर्ण रूप से अपने के रूप में तो प्रभु पवित्र आत्मा को शिष्यों पर भेज दिया पवित्र आत्मा कबोध के रूप में प्रभु यीशु पर और अन्य अन्य अवसरों पर लोगों के बीच में उतर आए तो इसलिए पवित्र आत्मा आज हम सभी को प्रदान दिया गया है जब कभी हमने संस्कार ग्रहण किए हैं अलग अलग संस्कार ग्रहण किए हैं तब भी हमारे ऊपर हमारे बीच में पवित्र आत्मा उतर आए हैं अनेक रूप में अनेक स्वभाव में हमारे बीच में आए हैं इसलिए प्रभु यीशु हमें याद दिलाते हैं हम सभी प्रभु के संतान हैं और पवित्र आत्मा से परिपूर्ण हैं 
पुनर्जीवित प्रभु ने शिष्यों को एक ही शब्द कहा था कि तुम्हारे बीच में शांति रहे तुम्हें शांति मिले और पवित्र आत्मा भी हम सभी को शांति प्रदान करता है और हम सभी उसी शांति को एक दूसरे को प्रदान करते हैं ईसा ने हमारे बीच में आकर हमारे लोगों के साथ मिलकर एक दूसरे को शांति प्रदान किया तो आइए आज के इस संकल्पस्था के अवसर पर हम एक दूसरे को शांति प्रदान करें एक दूसरे को प्रेम बांधे और जो कोई पीड़ा में है जो कोई दुखी है उन सभी को हम स्वाधुना प्रदान करें और हमारे बीच में जितने भी बीमार हैं, उन सभी को ईश्वर पवित्र आत्मा की शक्ति से चंगाई प्रदान करें, क्योंकि पवित्र आत्मा और प्रभु यीशु ने खुद जीवन काल में लोगों को चंगाई प्रदान किया और उन्हें एक अच्छे जीवन जीने के लिए उन्हें सहायता प्रदान की है तो आज प्रभु हमें वादा करते हैं कि हम भी ईश्वर प्रेम को अपनाते हुए अगर जीवन जीते हैं तो प्रभु हमारे बीच में पवित्र आत्मा को जरूर भेज देंगे और हमारे बीच में जो भी बीमारियां हैं जो भी कोरोना वायरस जो फैल रहे हैं उन सभी वायरस एवं सभी बीमारों को चंगाई प्रदान करेंगे तो आइए हम पवित्र आत्मा पर विश्वास करें प्रभु यीशु के कार्यों पर विश्वास करें और हमारी गलीस या एकता पर विश्वास करे अगर हमारे मन में कोई भी भेदभाव है उन सभी भेदभाव को दूर कर पवित्र आत्मा को ग्रहण करने के लिए अपने आप को तैयार करें हम सब मिलकर हमारे विश्वास को प्रभु के सामने प्रकट करें आई बिलीव इन गॉड And see the light of the Father Almighty. From them we shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The phenomenon witnessed by the people present at the Feast of Pentecost are all the elements of the first creation. But the emphasis now is on the new creation because the apostles who are filled with the Holy Spirit begin to preach the message of salvation. Let us now place our petitions before the Lord saying, Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy and the religious, that commissioned by the Holy Spirit, they may strengthen the work of evangelization entrusted to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. For the Church that was born on the first Pentecost and has since kept growing through the power of the Holy Spirit, that the same Spirit may strengthen the work of the missionaries and the spreading of the message of salvation far and wide, we pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. For all peoples of the world, that they may open their minds and hearts to the love of God and live their lives befitting children of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. For the elderly, the sick and the homeless, that the Holy Spirit may console and comfort them in their moments of loneliness and pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord pour out your Spirit upon us. For all of us present in this Eucharistic Assembly, that the celebration of the Feast of Pentecost 
may make our lives joyful, courageous, and mission-oriented. We pray to the Lord, the Lord um, for all your spirit of We pray for the departed soul of K.B. Tresiyama, who died last week, that God may accept the soul into his sight and may reward her eternal rest and may she be able to enjoy the eternal rest that was promised to her. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Hum prathna karte hain humare sabhi palibasiyon ke liye जो कोई इस मिसा बलिदान में भाग लेने में असमर्थ है उन सभी के लिए हम विशेष रूप से प्रार्थना करते हैं प्रभु उनकी मनोकामनाओं को पूरा करने की कृपा कर ताकि वे प्रभु की आत्मा को ग्रहण कर एक अच्छे गृहस्थीय जीवन जी सके इसके लिए हम पिता परमेश्वर से प्रार्थना करें हे पिता हमारे प्रार्थना सुन हम प्रार्थना करते हैं हमारे देश की नेताओं के लिए और जो कोई लोगों को मदद करते हैं विशेष रूप से डॉक्टर्स नर्सेस और अन्य सभी लोग उन सभी को प्रभु की आशीष दे ताकि वे भी एक अच्छे जीवन जी सके और एक दूसरे को मदद करते हुए ईश्वरीय प्रेम को अपने परिवारों में महसूस कर सके इसके लिए हम पिता परमेश्वर से प्रार्थना करें हम प्रार्थना करते हैं हमारे बीच में जितने भी बीमार हैं उन सभी बीमार लोगों के लिए हम प्रार्थना करते हैं प्रभु ने चंगाई प्रदान करे और पवित्र आत्मा को बेश कर उन्हें एक अच्छे जीवन जीने के लायक बनाए इसके लिए पिता परमेश्वर से प्रार्थना करें हम अपनी निजी निवेदनों को प्रभु के सामने रखें God our father we thank you for the gift of your son Jesus who poured out the living spirit on the apostles gathered in Jerusalem your spirit which is your gift to them made them bold and courageous in the face of the persecution let loose by the Jewish authorities in Jerusalem give us the grace that we too may contribute our share towards the advancement of the gospel we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Page number 76. Abba Father, let us pray. Your Son, your Son, set our hearts of spirits free. May Bread of all evil. 
sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May God accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mysteries of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, over overcome with the Pascal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Albert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Page number 112. Christian. 
Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families. We pray for the caregivers, the doctors, nurses and attendants, that they are protected from the infection and strengthened in spirit. We pray for the scientists doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily performed. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people, we may make this a rare to ruralize our Lord. Amen. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke of the marvels of God. Hallelujah. Oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church. Save God, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gifts of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may remain and retain all its force, and that his spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your hearts and Pray for God's blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing. We make you always Abandoned with the gifts of the same Spirit. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Page number 247. Holy Spirit, Lord, gift of God, Holy Spirit, Lord, light of truth, Holy Spirit, Lord, fire of love, come, Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, Lord, breath of God, Holy Spirit, Lord, breath of Holy Spirit, Lord, mighty wind, come.
Holy Spirit, 